Hello friends, we are back with another Maths Olympiad problem. So uh, this is one equation, 8 raised to the power of x plus 27 raised to the power of x divided by 12 raised to the power of x plus 18 raised to the power of x equal to 7 divided by 6. So it's given that x is integer and find x. So please pause the video and resume when you are ready. Now let's see the solution. So this is our original equation. So 8 can be written as 2 cube, 27 can be written as 3 cube and 12 can be written as 4 multiplied by 3. So 4 is nothing but 2 square times 3 and 18 can be written as 2 multiplied by 9. 9 is nothing but 3 square. So we are rewriting this equation. now. Uh, if we have a raised to the power m and everything raised to the power of m, then we can reverse it. Since this thing is same as a raised to the power of mn and this thing is also same as a raised to the power nm. So we can rewrite this numerator where 3 x comes inside the bracket and 3 goes outside. And then uh, in the denominator we have taken 2 multiplied by 3 raised to the power of x common. So in this term, first term we have 2 raised to the power of x extra and in the second one we have 3 raised to the power of x. Now you see this is a cube plus b cube form. So we can write the numerator as, so what is a cube plus b cube? It's a plus b multiplied by a square plus b square minus ab. So let's rewrite it and denominator remains the same. We have just expanded this 2x, 3x. Now uh, these two terms can be cancelled since these are non-zero. So let's cancel these. Now we can uh, break all the numerator terms. So first term divided by denominator, second term divided by denominator and third term divided by denominator and these two are same. So we can cancel them. So this entire term is 1 and also you will notice that here it's 2x whole square and here in the denominator it's 2 raised to the power of x. Similarly here it's 3x whole square and here we have 3x. So we can cancel one of these values with the denominator. So in the numerator we have 2x 2 raised to the power of x divided by 3 raised to the power of x and second term is 3 raised to the power of x divided by 2 raised to the power of x just reciprocal of the first term and the third term is minus 1. So let's rewrite and now you can see a pattern that 2 by 3 whole x whole power x and here it's reciprocal of that. So let's simplify this equation. So we will assume that 2 by 3 whole raised to the power of x equal to a. So now this equation becomes a plus 1 by a minus 1 equal to 7 by 6 and we can further break it and now it's 13a 6 6a square. So let's rewrite it. Now let's factorize this. So we break it in such a way that we have a common term and then a will be either 2 by 3 or 3 by 2. So remember a was 2 by 3 raised to the power of x. So this is 2 by 3 raised to the power of 1 and this is 2 by 3 raised to the power of minus 1. So x can be either 1 or minus 1. Both values are satisfying the equation. So that's our answer. So I hope you like this problem. If you want more such problems, please subscribe the channel and thanks for watching.